Hey there and welcome. In this video, I will review a product that is not new in the market, but it is widely used for several years for spot welding. I'm talking about the 737G spot welder. The one I have already set up on my workbench for testing was sent to me by Viver and is a benchtop spot welder with a foot pedal switch and in a moment I will show you how it works. First let me tell you that this spot welder was sent to me free of charge and I didn't receive any payment from Viver to make this review. This is the first contribution of Viver with the channel and I would like to thank them for their collaboration and since I'm in thanks mode let me also thank you Yes, you, my viewer that are sponsoring this channel by using the channel affiliate links on the screen or in the video description for your purchases on AliExpress or Amazon. By using these links, you are sponsoring the channel without paying a cent more. Thank you. It's time. Let me show you the feature highlights and do some spot welding. This is the box where the Vevor 737 is delivered. Let's open it and see what we have inside. This is a big box, so I added a new camera. Okay, first of all, we have a user manual, some pictures. Yeah, it's not long, it's in English, so yeah. Okay, let's take this out. Okay, so what we have here, we have in the back, okay, a pedal also, but in the back we have the fuse with a European socket. The cable is attached to the body of spot welder, okay, and yeah, so we have some breathing holes from this side and from this side also, below also some breathing holes, and in the front, we have, well, this shouldn't be very hard to work. We have the two holders for the electrodes. Yeah, this is also, uh, I don't know if you hear, it clicks. So this is also a, a switch for soldering. We have the connector for the foot pedal. And yeah, pulse, current and the settings, pretty easy. On the top we have this uh, knob to adjust the pressure that we will do while working with this. So in terms of first impressions that's it. Let's power this on and see how it operates. So I have everything ready. Uh, there's not much to, to talk about about the operation. We have only two indicators, two LEDs. This one will show you the number of pulses that will be applied. And the second one is the current that we will apply while soldering. So to change, you just select which one you want to change. Okay. And yeah, use the direction keys for the operation. Pretty easy. That's it. It's done. Okay. So let's try by starting to solder something. Uh, spot welding here, something. I will start with uh, with this uh, nickel strip. It's a little larger than the strips that are delivered because they are quite uh, well thin. And to spot welder here, I prefer to have something a bit larger. Uh, I will put this at 70%, but with two pulses. I believe that one pulse will it will not be enough so let's put two and yeah that's it okay so let's start by seeing uh, how this works well something that I notice is that with this connected we cannot uh, work directly only with the, the the top part let's start by testing this first I have here a shorter strip 
Okay. Let's do again. Another one. Okay, I hate to work with auto zoom, but to show you, let's see if I can. Yeah, it seems to be well soldered. Let me check. Well, I will need a plier to take this off. Yeah, I was not counting, but this seems very well soldered. As you can see, uh, it took, it completely wrapped the nickel part. Let's see if I can take this from the battery so I can test it again. Okay, so let's try again with another strip. Yeah. Something that surprised me is that only with two pulses it really soldered this. I will even put this on a, on a lower, yeah, like the 50%. Let's see if uh, it will do the job. I don't know what I have to do to stop this. Ah, okay, now we have it. Let's try again. Let me see if can, I can show you. Sometimes the zoom takes a bit to, to grab. Okay. Seems very well. Let me try again to use this because uh, I tried before and it was not working. So if I use this one, it will not work. Yeah, the foot pedal doesn't seem to be working. I don't know. This is not rocket science, so maybe I'm just missing something. Okay. Check the manual. Okay, so they say to push this up okay yeah this is not working anyway let's take it off and see how this works okay let's try to rip it off again i think it's better to take it off here yeah some pressure is needed Let me show you how the nickel, yeah, you can see totally the, the holes where the solder left nickel in the battery. Yeah, so I think this works very well. It's simple, nothing to, to, to know, just do the work, nothing much to say now. It seems a very nice pot welder to be in your workbench. A different uh, solution than the normal spot welders. The only thing that I would like to see here is also connectors for a pen to, to allow you to work better. Mm, other than that it seems to work really 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 well. Well also this is not working. I have to open it and see what is going on here. Okay let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this review by stating the obvious. This Viver 737G is a rebrand of the old and reliable Sunco 737G. Viver don't try to hide it since the photos in their own website are with the brand Sunco. This device is on the market for some years and is widely used for spot welding with great success. 
It does one thing only and it does it well. No fancy LCDs or any other options other than spot welding. And in the end, it's just what we want. If I had something to point out in this spot welder, it's just that uh, having connectors for an external soldering pan will be nice. But I think they have some models already with it, so it's just a case of selecting what will fit better your needs. Let's now talk about the pricing. It's being sold on Viver official website for 103 euros or around 111 dollars. And they have local warehouses in Europe, USA and South America to mention a few. But you can find it also on AliExpress for 95 euros to 105 euros or 103 dollars to 114 dollars. So the price is a bit lower than some other models I search for benchtop spot welders. The overall experience was okay. The foot pedal was not working, but I think that was a defective unit and will not affect the usage or the experience. I will report it and support will take care of that. If you are interested in an economic benchtop spot welder, and this seems a nice option, just let me tell you that if you want, you can sponsor the channel by purchasing using the affiliate links on the screen or in the video description. And if this video was in any way useful to you, help me spread the word and slap that like button. And let me tell you that every week I receive new equipment to review. Some of them are world firsts and subscribing will help to keep you on the loop. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for your company and I hope you can join me again in my next video.